Hello Virgos, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and I'm doing your tarot reading for February 2022. Totally different reading this month. Um, Spirit have inspired me to pull a card for everybody this month because there's an important message for everyone. Um, then we've got your overall energy card and also a completely new tarot spread, my own tarot spread as well. So we've got all of that coming up for you in this reading. Just before we start, we do go live here on a Friday and Sunday. So if you're about, please join us at 7 p.m. London time. Um, please subscribe to the channel and you'll get notification of when I go live. Uh, we also have a new masterclass coming up very soon. And we'll talk about that on the lives as well. So it'd be lovely if you could join us. Okay, Virgos, let's get straight on with your February reading. So the card that we have is the Earth Song. And we've got the power of three, the, the, the land, the sea and the sky. And I feel that Spirit are asking you to think about the little things in life. To think about your planet and what you can do to help. Um, because I do feel the Earth is in need of healing at the moment. And in these times of great change, it is the Earth that feeds us, that houses us that nourishes us, that gives us fuel for the cars, that gives us the air that we breathe, it supplies our electric and it takes all of our rubbish as well. So we're being asked to remind ourselves of our deep connections to the earth as a whole. Um, the earth breathes, it is a conscious energy. So feel the love of Mother Earth and all of nature as well. Okay, Virgos, the card that I've pulled for you, again, for me, feels like it's got the world in it as well. And it is the angel of soul love. Time to look at how you value yourself with, there are issues with self-love. So this is about honouring yourself first. So is there someone around you is putting you down? Because it's time to deal with this situation people we meet, we meet for a reason. And remember, you are perfect just as you are. Do not change anything about yourself. Um, I do feel as well, that there is a need to change the perceptions that you have about yourself. Value and honor yourself first and actually believe it and the more you love yourself, the more love you will attract as well. So there's a lot of acceptance um, coming for this month as well. Okay, Virgos, let's see. Um, what advice does you can get from the tarot for you? The here and now. And we have the seven of wands and I do feel with this card in particular is he's rising above situations he's putting himself first he's conquered everything um he's above everything else and uh, you know things are trying to you look at his face he doesn't look happy he you know it's hard work it's all a challenge so it's getting ourselves out of that position of everything being a challenge to actually um rising above um and also standing your ground as well the challenges quite simple you have too much going on these two often come out together these two cards it's almost as there you know he's putting them all down he's at seven seven's about taking action seven's about making it happen but actually too much is happening so you need to streamline what you're doing you need to streamline what's going on Spiritual message, spiritual guidance is the two of swords. So there is that decision to make and use your intuition to make that decision. Any decisions that you need to make. A great thing to do with spirit is if you're really struggling with a decision, spirit can help. And what you can do is ask spirit when you go to sleep, I need an answer to this question. 
tell them what the question is and then when you go to bed first thing when you wake up think of what the answer is and spirit would have inspired you during the your sleep time with the correct answer it's a great thing that does work it does work so give that a go okay hidden things that are hidden queen of cups has come out a lot this month as well um so that need to look into everything and to feel things deeply i feel that this is someone around you who is is her head is down i always feel, I, I almost feel that there is someone around you that's um in need of upliftment as well your strengths is the knight of cups so you're quite happy to take on that new beginning you're quite happy to make it happen could well be that you're going to look for love this month as well so in honouring yourself, there's almost so there's that potential to come in. <sighs> the King of Swords. Lots of the pip cards are coming out this month as well, which are the, the court cards, which are people around you um, or aspects of yourself. And with the King of, of Swords, your potential is to stand your ground. Um, I feel right from the beginning that someone's putting you down and you need to stand up for yourself. And that's still what I'm feeling here. <laughs> oh, we have the Knight of Swords in your options. Go for it. Go on, go make it happen. Do it. So we've got all swords here from the spirit world. And all the swords are about the mind, thought processes, and how we think and how we feel about things. If we notice the sword here, there, his sword is blunt. His sword, he doesn't have all of his sword in the picture. He can't do any damage. He might charge full steam ahead. But this is, they're saying nothing, no harm can come. Just go for it. Make it happen. External influences. And we have the moon. So I do feel that um, some things are hidden from you with regards... <laughs> Particularly in this card, we've got the two pillars. We've also got the wolf and the dog. And in the moonlight, it's very hard to see the difference between the two. What's the difference between which one is the dog, which one is the wolf? And I do feel this is a person around you who is not showing their full self to you. Something's hidden about someone around you. They're not showing you or telling you the full story. Your immediate actions is another sword. How freaky is that? You might feel trapped in a situation. You might feel like you can't see a way forward. But the reality is at any point, you can take off that blindfold and make a step forward. All these swords here are behind you. There's one in front, right in front. But you can step around that. You can just step around that. There is no need for you to, to let that affect you going forward. Long-term effect is the five of swords. Now, he's holding those swords as if he's triumphant um, and these people, he's not caring about, I feel that this is someone around you who doesn't care about your feelings, he doesn't care what they, they're putting you down even if they don't realise it. Um, but that, that everyone we meet is for a reason and they always teach us something. But it's almost as though there is a need to... Um, I feel a need to really put them in their place. Okay. Your final card for the month of February is a new beginning, a new project, a, a windfall of some kind, money coming from nowhere. There is some kind of a shift in finances. It's almost a welcome relief from uh, what's going on around a person. Um But yeah, I feel that's the, the the message for you this month. Well, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Bless you for watching. Have a lovely February. And please join us on one of our lives.